2016 from last night's state primary results. Voters booted several longtime lawmakers from office, including one high-ranking member of the House of Representatives. And we've learned he, as well as others, are asking for recounts. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us with more details on what the losses mean going forward in campaign 2016. Well, Shannon, you said it's six incumbents lost last night, but we've learned two of them have asked for recounts. Across the state, six total recounts have been requested, most notably the man who few thought would lose last night, John D. Simone, the second most powerful person in the House. Fighting for poor. They sat next to each other and debated on newsmakers at the start of September. A political unknown, a school teacher named Marcia Wranglin Vassal, and the second most powerful person in the House, Majority Leader John D. Simone. Because you will not seek out anyone who's poor, disadvantaged. I've been fighting for poor people, people of my district, my entire career. When the dust settled Tuesday night, D. Simone was knocked out of his spot. Uh, like in every primary uh, season, we always have a few upsets, and we had some last night. None bigger than the 16-vote loss by D. Simone. So close, D. Simone's already petitioned to the Board of Elections for a recount to take place Friday. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming says turnout statewide was less than 10%, so it's tough to read too much into it, but said now there's likely a lot of movement behind the scenes to see who will be Speaker Mattiello's second-in-command. So I think you're going to see people in the General Assembly right now probably jockeying for a position, trying to line support up to get them in a position to be the majority leader. And Speaker Nick Mattiello released a statement. He did not address D. Simone's loss, but he stayed positive, saying, I'm pleased that 11 candidates I strongly supported were victorious last night. Overall, it was a positive night for the Democratic Party in Rhode Island. Still to be determined, provisional ballots need to be looked at tomorrow, and the Board of Elections will decide whether or not to grant recounts tonight at their meeting. If they do, recounts will take place Friday morning. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.